Hi, uh, I'm Chun Aik. I work at an art gallery, but I also maintain an artistic practice on the side. So my practice is uh, kind of built upon the overlapping of realities. Uh, I'm interested mainly in how people perceive things and perceive the world. I feel that for each of us, the way we look at the world almost kind of put ourselves in, in an individual separate reality. So I really try to look at how these realities overlap and to manifest them in, in the ways I can. So it could be text, could be photos, video, even collaborations or exhibitions. This exhibition is titled An Exhibition About Art. So as the title suggests, you know, all the works are kind of talking about art in one way or another. And they really uh, come from ideas that I have uh, from many years ago since I started learning about contemporary art, working art gallery and it's really in my working environment talking to people, learning about artists, thinking about art, reading about art. Uh, I'm also interested in very often overlooked moments. So for example, one of the works, The Meaning of White, you know, essentially is just photographs of white deck in a HDB area where I encountered all these white patches on the wall. So it got me really curious, you know, thinking about why are these there and what could they mean and, and things like that, you know, particularly reminding me of, you know, works by like Rothko, Malevich, Robert Ryman, where they, they also did patches of white. So what, you know, really thinking about what matters and what constitutes an artwork, be it the context, the intent, the artist, yeah. So for the installation behind, it's essentially it's made out of press releases I've collected over the years. So from the earliest one in 2016 to just the ones that I collected just earlier this year. And this really come from a very simple idea of you know, what if I reverse the roles of press release because press releases are, are so essential in every art exhibition. They are most like mediator between art and the audience and they are often the first out encounter of art by, by the audience. However, you know, oftentimes they are overlooked and neglected you know, soon after they kind of serve their purposes. So I was just wondering you know, what if you know, I take all these found objects, all these press releases that people you know, just take and discard easily and put them together into an artwork. And on one hand, it really raises the question of what constitutes art and on the other, it's also like a personal journey of you know, me uh, working in a gallery and learning about art. So in contrast to that, uh, I also specially prepared a set of press releases that talk about this work. So it's essentially a write-up of the work and it's printed in a limited edition of 100 pieces and signed individually. So that in itself also raises the question of exclusivity in art from something that is given away for free and you know, not deemed as so important to something that is kind of limited uh, and exclusive and unique even as they are signed and numbered individually. And so when I put these two things together, it's really to just get people to to really, yeah, as I have been saying, you know, look at things maybe more consciously to think about not just their purpose, uh, but also their value in other sense, you know, their meaning, what they can mean to us or to different people. I also have a sound and text installation and it goes as a pair of questions. So the original philosophical question says that if a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? And at some point of time, uh, I drew a parallel and raised the question of if an artist makes something and no one is around to see it, is it art? Yeah, so what I was really interested in was does art need an audience? You know, if I make something, if I paint something, I don't show it to people, if I compose a piece of music only to listen to myself, if I dance at home without anyone watching, you know, things like that. Yeah, so uh, similarly, I, I also approach it the, a similar way by reversing the role. So instead of, you know, talking about tree, I, I play the sound of the tree falling. And now to make people question, you know, so did the tree really fall? If you hear the sound of the tree falling. And in the same vein, you know, if you are looking at, you know, what is here, 
what is so-called an artwork in the exhibition. Is it really an artwork? Is it really something made by an artist? You know, what really constitute it being qualified as an artwork? Yeah. So, you know, is it the intent? Is it having the audience? If there are more audience, is it more of an artwork? Yeah, and, and you know, it basically I realized that there are more and more questions. <laughs> appreciate is uh, a lot of my non-art friends coming to see the show. Uh, some of them maybe I haven't kept in touch for, for some time and they really just come and maybe they don't know much about art or they don't really see art shows but they come, they spend the time to really listen and uh, I think a lot of them walk away hopefully with, with kind of you know, uh, a deeper understanding of art or just being more conscious about looking at art, thinking about things around us. So I felt that that was uh, really good. Yeah, so I think the main difference is that being the artist, I'm really involved in the whole process of, you know, from the initial conception of the artworks, the, or the exhibition as a whole, thinking about it, uh, polishing the idea, talking to people, and then making the works and seeing everything come together. But whereas as a gallery worker, you know, I'm also involved in, in quite a long process, but uh, it's really more about supporting the artist you know, learning about what they need to really realize their ideas. Because this exhibition is, is an exhibition about art, so what I, of course what I hope is for them to kind of form their own, own perceptions or their understanding of what art is. You know, it's not really about teaching them what art is about, but I think I hope for the exhibition to be a, a site, a place to really provide an opportunity for them to be more conscious about what they look at and how they see things and how they think about art. And yeah, because for me, it's really about uh, how we look at things. So I hope, you know, that if there's anything, that's the one thing that they can take away from the show. process was uh, very smooth. Of course, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've done a lot of exhibitions, but you know, doing it in another space and also doing it for myself, definitely there are still a lot, a lot of differences. Yeah, in terms of logistics, in terms of resources, and, and outreach actually also does provide me with a lot of support. You know, be it about from uh, getting selected in an open call, talking to people, uh, having feedback on the ideas, trying to make it uh, a more complete exhibition to the practical aspects, you know, coming in, giving me the space and the room to really experiment, to really kind of put these things together. Yeah, so it's great. <laughs>